okay hello guys okay, once again welcome to our new video and this will be about lump examination okay <coughs> uh, i told you already the previous about in the previous video the steps before and after the examination that was wiper and wiper was wash your hands introduce yourself and also introduction of the patient and then permission and after that exposure and then reposition of the patient you will follow this one as well for the lump examination as well and after uh, complete examination i will tell you the other one okay so starting from the wiper i wash with my hands i am going to introduce myself i'm dr sanawla khan one of the resident surgeon can i confirm your name and age please okay so i have already taken uh introduction of the patient then i will take consent and that is permission i will be examining your lump in the neck or in the back uh, in which i will be first seeing by neck eyes and after that i will be touching with my hands and in the end i may need to percuss and auscultate as well okay <coughs> so, sorry okay now i will be exposing the patient and for exposure you should also take uh, consent uh, that i will be exposing your lump and after that you should reposition the patient okay now coming towards the uh, proper examination in every examination we usually do four steps number 1 inspection palpation percussion auscultation in every examination follow all the these four steps For inspection of a lump, you should remember a mnemonic of six S. For palpation, remember sector S E C T R, not O. F F P. It is not fresh frozen plasma. It is a mnemonic. I will tell you the things. On. And percussion is like the same. And auscultation with stethoscope. Okay. Now coming towards the six S. Important one. what does success mean i will write success like this four five and this one is the six one okay six to s number first one it stand for size what is size in centimeter to cross to or things like that okay you will merit with merit tape now coming towards the site anatomical site either it is an anterior triangle posterior triangle or the things like that then coming towards the shape what is this shape like it could be hemispherical spherical protuberant or any shape you can mention it okay symmetry either it is symmetrical or asymmetrical after that you will come towards the skin the overlying skin is it fresh looking skin gangrenous reddish and at the end it is scar any previous scar surgical scar or trauma or anything these are the six steps and six s of the inspection in every inspection before inspecting a lump you should mer just it's not mering it's just like a size approximate size Uh, by inspection that uh, it could be 2 cross 2 cm and then site is an anatomical site either it is <coughs> the anterior triangle of the neck or in the back of the sole or anything and after that shape either it is hemispherical spherical and protuberant any type of shape you will tell the uh, examiner and after that you will tell the symmetrical either it is symmetrical uh, or it is uh, asymmetrical after that skin either it is fresh looking skin or gangrenous reddish any type of skin you are seeing by your neck eyes 
And after that, uh, they, you will come toward the scar. Is there any scar and uh, it could be surgical scar, traumatic scar or anything. Okay guys, to coming towards the palpation. And for palpation, I have given you the mnemonic that is sector FFP. Number one, S stands for surface. I run a lump on my hands. So this her just consider this a lump. I will just take it like when palpation like this. Either its rough, uh, surface is rough. Either it could be rough or smooth. Right. Now coming towards the E. E stand for edges. You will check its edges. Either it is regular. Are irregular right after that you will come to C C stand for consistency consistency could be of three types either it could be hard either it could be firm either it could be soft now just consider it. the bridge of our nose, if it is like just the bridge of our nose, just uh, put your finger on your nose. If it is hard like this, it will be considered as hard. Bridge, I will mention it, bridge of the nose. Now coming towards the firm, it feels like the nasal flare. I must say a, a, a like a nasal tip. If it's uh, like nasal tip, it will be firm, and if it feels like the nares, it will be soft. Nasal nares, right? So consistency is of three types. Now coming towards the T. T stand for trans illuminable. Illumination. This is very simple. Just put your torch, put torch on, put torch on lamp and check it. Either it is uh, glowing bright red then it will be transilluminable okay now coming towards the R it is reducibility reducibility always ask a patient to reduce their lump first then ask if you may reduce it example just i'm telling you always ask the patient to reduce it because they know how to reduce this if they can reduce it that's good if they can then you will have tell me tell the patient that mm, now i'm trying to reduce it okay reducibility now coming towards the f f p f f and p one is f stand for fixation fixity i will write it fixed now again fixed or a penetrative fixed to skin for skin just consider this lump and put your fingers like that and move it if skin is moving about the lump and easily it means it's not fixed to skin now coming towards the fixed to underlying tissue for underlying tissue you will just hold the lump like this and mow it either if it's mowing free over the under overlying structure then it means it's not overlying not fixed overlying structure now coming toward the fixed to the muscle surface fixed to the muscle surface for muscle surface just remember told the patient just tell the patient that try to contract like this. If it is fixed to the surface, it the plum become more prominent. It will more prominent. 
if it is to surface okay if not then it will be remain it will remain the same now if within the within the, the muscle if it is within the muscle the lump will become less prominent i hope you got the point if it is on the surface of the muscle when the patient will, con will be contracting his muscle it will appear more it will be more prominent and if it is within the muscle in between the muscle it will just with the contraction of the contraction of the muscle it will become less prominent so one f is gone now coming towards the another f another f is fluctuant for fluctuant use index and middle finger I'm telling you, you index and middle finger like this. I'm just showing it like this, okay? To stabilize the base and press the lump, press the middle of the lump with the index finger like this one. Just consider it. this is the lump. I have compressed it like this and hold it. I will be pressing like this. If my this finger are bulging out, it means it is fluctuant, okay? This is also called pegged sign of positive bullet. Now coming towards the P, pulsatility. T, L, T. Okay. Sorry for my bad handwriting. Okay. Now for this, use the index finger of both hands i will just hold like this and we'll check if either it is moving like ups and down or not and if it is moving it is main pulse style and pulse style means either it could be of vascular origin or things like that so you have done the palpation as well now we will go towards the percussion and percussion is just like if we are doing like this one okay this is the percussion third strap will be percussing it especially if we, it is in the neck lump you percuss on sternum to check retro retro sternum guard to check right okay after that the fourth one, auscultation. We auscultate with stethoscope. To check brewery, bowel sounds like it could be in hernia and things like that. So you, once you completed all this and then we will come towards the end and it was again thanks the patient wash your hand thanks wash hand dress the help dress help the patient to dress and all of, of relevant steps we which we have already mentioned that in that which you include the summarize and also differential diagnosis okay hope so that you have learned something and now it's time to practice it on your colleague or patient so that you have learned you learn it each and every step thank you so much